Hello. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. To make my wool sconces, I'm going to be using a two litre soft drink bottle. And what I'm going to do is cut it off at the top here and then slice it down the middle on both sides so that your bottle is like that. If you're not comfortable using a soldering line, please get somebody else to help you. So all I'm going to be doing is trying to get through this large hard section of the bottle because you can't cut that with a pair of scissors. I've got some spare cardboard and this is quite a thick cardboard and I'm going to be cutting a small section out of 14 centimeters by 10 centimeters. I'm using 0.9 millimeter wire and I'm cutting 16 centimeters and all I'm doing is folding it in half and getting the size loop that I want which is quite a nice size there and then I'm just splitting the wires open and then twisting them and I'm only twisting them the depth of the cardboard and I'm going to thread that through the cardboard and then we'll open them out and then tape that down. I've taken some masking tape and just taped around the edges. I'm not worried about the top one but just the side, three sides. And now I'm going down by three centimeters and obviously marking the center point. And that's where I'm going to be placing my hole. And I'm just using a metal skewer to do that. Just putting it over my masking tape so that I can get a nice clean punch. And now we're going to thread the wire through there. And then split these open and then take some masking tape and just tape that down. I've got my hook in for hanging my sconce. I've taped it all down there and now I'm just going to take some hot glue and glue this in place so it doesn't wiggle around. I'm using these flexible mirrors and I'm just going to glue it or stick it onto there and then trim it down. The easiest way to get the backing off the mirrors is to place a piece of masking tape as the top of the front piece and another piece at the back as close to the top as you can without touching the masking tape and then all you do is peel it off. I'm going to take some of my bling and I'm going to be gluing it at the bottom underneath and I'm just going to glue on two rows. And then I'm going to take the bottle and I'm going to be gluing it onto the side of my piece of cardboard. Now when you're doing this, make sure you put the glue on the cardboard because the plastic bottles do tend to melt, especially if you've got a high temperature glue gun like I've got. I'm just removing a wee bit of the protective covering so that I can let, so I don't glue it onto the bottle. Once you've got your bottle glued on, just take some masking tape and place it onto the bottle and then wrap it around the back so that it can give it extra support. And do the same on both sides. Now that we've got the bottle glued on, we can remove the protective covering if you choose to. But we're going to start working on the external decorations now. I'm using this gold craft wire and I'm cutting six strips like that of 17 and a half centimeters each. And the first one I'm going to be gluing onto the base. I've just shaped them to the shape of the bottle. I'm going to be gluing that one on. Once again, once you're gluing, 
try and glue onto the metal and let it cool a wee bit before you put it onto the plastic. And then just glue the whole thing on. And now I'm going to be taking seven of these beautiful little rose acrylic crystals and I'm going to be gluing them around the base like that. In between each of the stones I'm going to be placing four little diamond wraps and then I'll place the next one next to it like that. I've got all my roses glued on and now I'm taking another one of my pieces of wire and I'm going to be gluing that on top of there. And then I'm going to be taking some of these metallic studs and I'm going to be gluing them around on top of that wire. And now I'm going to take another one of my wires and bend it around those metallic studs. I've glued all the wires into place and now I'm taking some more of my bling and I'm going to be gluing it along the side and up over the top like that. I'm doing that on both sides. I've cut a piece of wire off at 23 centimeters. It might be a bit long but I'd rather start with something long. I'm just using my marker and I'm going to be making a circle at the top. So just like that. And then we're just going to rotate it and try and make it go as round as what you can get it to go. So a bit like that. And then we're going to start curving it to go in the opposite direction. So we keep going and see how we go. looking quite good and now we're going to finish it off by curling this piece under and I'm going to be using the pen as well to get the circle to be nice and round to go inward. And now I'm taking six of the pieces that we just made and I'm going to be gluing them in sets of two to make the hard shapes and then I'm going to be putting these little bling rhinestone flowers where I glue. To get the heart shape I'm just taking two of them and reversing them so that they're in opposite directions. And I'm doing all of them the same. And I'm going to be taking the pieces and I'm going to be slightly bending them so that they get a little bit of a curve like that so that they can wrap around the bottle so when you put it on the bottle it can lie flat. And I'm going to take the three of them and glue those onto the bottle. Make sure that you curve it because as you can see, if you don't curve them, these ones stand upright. And then I'm going to glue those all into place as well. And at each point where I put glue, I'm going to put the same little diamond flower on it. I've got them all glued on and now I'm going to be taking another one of the wires and I'm going to be gluing it on the top of these ones. And once again where I glue onto 
the top piece that I've just placed in, I'm going to be placing the little flowers along all those points as well. The next thing I'm doing is I'm taking some of the metallic stud and I'm going to be gluing that onto just above the wire that we've just put in. And then I'm going to glue another wire around the stud. I'm going to be cutting this strip of plastic which is two centimeters wide so that I can glue it on the top over here because as you can see it's got a lot of indentations at the top so I'm going to just glue that on there to straighten that section off. And I'm taking the last piece of wire and I'm going to be gluing it onto the little piece of plastic as well. And now I'm going to be taking some of these self-adhesive large rhinestones. They're about a 1.5 centimeter. And I'm just going to be gluing 11 of them across the top over there. But I'm also going to be gluing them even though they are self-adhesive. And now I'm going to be taking seven of my large roses and I'm going to be gluing those on the top. I'm just cutting a strip of plastic and I'm taping some masking tape to it and I've cut two centimeters and the reason why I've covered it with masking tape is so I can see where I'm going to be gluing and I've just taped it to the floor. I'm going to be using these AB coated crystal garlands and I'm going to be cutting them into different sizes. I've cut all my beads and I've got 11 strands and these ones have got 11 beads on them and then I've got 8 strands that have got 7 beads on it and then I've got 4 strands which have got 8 beads on it. The way I'm going to be arranging the beads is going to be going like this. So the center one is going to be 11 and next to it will be an 8 and an 8 and then a 7 and a 7 and then we're back to the 11s and then we're going to do the same pattern by going 8, 7, 11 and we're doing that on both sides. So I've set them all out like that and now I'm going to be gluing them onto my little strip. I'm going to be using one bead as the anchor and that's what I'm going to be gluing on. When you're gluing your beads onto the piece of plastic make sure that you glue onto the bead because the plastic does tend to melt if you glue straight onto the plastic so on the bead first and then onto the plastic i've got all the beads lined up so all i'm doing is picking them up individually putting the glue on placing it into position and then grab the next one And then just glue them all on. Because these beads are on strings when the string is running straight through the middle you must make sure that the string is lying straight otherwise your beads are going to hang skew. For the second row I've just flipped them over so that you can see what I'm actually doing. So on the second row we're only using size 11s and size 7s and all I'm doing is I'm placing next to the center long one I'm placing on either side of that two long ones and then it's just going to alternate short long short long short long so that's all I'm doing along the top and now we're going to be gluing these ones into that's our center long one we're going to be gluing it just above the one bead so it's going to be a double row of beads so just like that move all those out of the way so we're gluing it just above so that'll be the two longs that are going next to the center long 
you can leave it just as it is it's very pretty but I just want it a little bit thicker once you've glued all your beads in place just take some masking tape and just run a piece over so you can pull all the threads of glue that are stuck to them and then they're nice and clean and now we can remove the masking tape that we put on the plastic And there's our paste to glue in. In the center of the little hearts over here, I'm just going to be taking one of these little teardrops and I'm going to be placing three of them just on the top ones. I'm not placing them on this, the other ones going up. I just received my little light today and um, I ordered ones that are battery operated but they've sent me USB charger lights so I'm going to be using these little motion sensor lights for inside my little lights so now I've got to charge these all up before I can use them and they do come with little magnets so they're easy to just take out to charge I've got my little wall sconces up and unfortunately, these particular lights could not be activated through the plastic. So what I've done is I've cut this whole section out of the plastic bottle. But there's one of them. And there's the other one. And these lights are activated by my door. The door, so that you can see how they work. That's my little wall sconces. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.